everybody it's Sandy we're gonna do a, a kind of like a mystery painting not quite sure what we're gonna call it maybe a colorful sunburst or something definitely colorful I've got my white paint ready to go this is an 18 by 24 canvas I felt like doing a larger painting tonight and I'm gonna do lots of color so let's get to her. I'm going to torch it first. And again, this is white acrylic that's down here. It's approximately my water glue mixture, which is 50 50, 50% 50 Mod Podge, 50% water. And then I add that to my paint. So if I've got a half a cup of paint, I add pretty close to the same amount of my glue mixture and that's how I come up with my base and pretty much all of my pouring paints except for the ready made ones that I bought at Michael's which I can show you a quick little bottle of it it's one of these there's actually a kit of five colors I think it was $24.99 these are pre-mixed ready to go you don't have to add anything to them but I'm not using any of these ones tonight Everything I'm using, I've, I've mixed. Alrighty, so first I wanna have a circle to start with. So I'm going to use my kid's sandbox toy. Not my kid's, it's a kid's toy. And I'm gonna use it in the center to guide me as a circle. That's what I want. So in my circle here, I wanna do my base color, which is gonna be probably a dark blue. Let's go with, yeah, I'll go with the metallic deep sapphire in the center. That's going to be my guide to start with. Try and keep it as much of a circle as I can. Which means I'm going to be pouring paint right onto my plastic. Have it pour down. Which is fine. Every little bit of help is needed. And trust me, it's not that easy to do a circle and keep it even. So any toy you can think of or item, use it. All right. I'm just going to let that soak in for a sec. And then I'm going to pull it off, throw it in my drip tray over here, and start putting some colors down. Okay, that should be good. Hopefully, one, two, three, straight up and over. Okay, there's my circle guideline that I want to use. I'm going to torch the center there because I just created a whole bunch of bubbles with that, which is fine. Get rid of them and we're going to be doing stuff in the center anyhow. All right, so now I'm going to start off with some more blue. The deep sapphire I just put in here, I'm going to be just kind of swirling it around. No particular design, really. And then I'm going to do my light sky blue. Now I saw this painting just the other day, maybe even been yesterday, and I just loved it. And I think the artist had done it maybe a couple months ago or something. I even commented on a YouTube channel, I really want to try this, because I just thought it was so cool. She painted outside and she was picking out like little pine needles and stuff like that. I thought, that's really neat that she's just being very real. Okay. So now I'm adding some of my purple in, which is a bright violet it's called and like I said this is gonna be a very colorful painting 
And let's go with a brilliant blue. I haven't done that one yet. Try and keep the colors sort of close together. Like a matching color code combination. All right, and now we need some green. Let's go with some evergreen. And I'm just gonna go on the outskirts of this. Which is a really nice deep green. I love the evergreen, okay. Then how about we keep another green going? Do that chartreuse green color. If I can get the cap off without spilling paint everywhere. There we go. And I'm just gonna squiggle a line all the way around. Perfect. And my favorite, deep turquoise. It's going to go right in the middle of everything because it's my favorite. Okay. Metallic amethyst. I don't think I put that on there yet, did I? If I did, we're, we're doing a double duty because I don't remember. But metallic is always a nice color to add in no matter what shade of coloring it is the metallic is just gorgeous when it dries okay so now we're going with orange which is usually a dangerous color to use at least i find so i'm just going to do dots like every two or three inches apart pretty good we don't have any red in there yet. Don't have much red, so I'm, oh, I got orange and red paint everywhere here. Hold on while I just wipe that off. Must have been the lid on my orange was a little funky on there. All right, so let's do some red. Hopefully I don't run out of it. No, should be good. There we go. Boy, it almost looks like a Christmas wreath, doesn't it? Trust me, that's not what I was going for. Okay, then we have some lavender. And my last color I'm adding is my fuchsia. Another cap that doesn't want to come off. And I think I'm just going to do a couple of lines through the color like that. There we go. <clears throat> now the fun begins. So what I want to try and do is take my, what if I want to do my comb? Yeah, maybe I do want to do my comb. I'm going to try this comb that I got with the three prongs on it and see if I can get enough of the paint moving in the direction I want. So I'm going to go right from the blue line and I'm going to go out kind of in a circular motion. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around the painting. Let's see if it turns out as well as the ladies' painting that I saw. Because it really was awesome. Okay. I 
gonna wipe some of the paint off there. <clears throat> now she had hers on a turntable, but my canvas is too large to do that. So I'm just gonna go with hopefully my own abilities here to keep the circular motion going with it. And luckily I am a twin, so I can do left and right for most things. Let's hope I can keep that going here using my left hand. Just got to think about it a little more, that's all. <clears throat> so far so good. Okay, I'm just going to keep going here. Okay, back to my right hand, I think. All right, so now I'm going to use my chopstick, which I think can do thicker single lines, kind of in between everything. Let's see how we do. <coughs> well, the paint's going to flow a bit back together as we do this too, so you might see some deep lines at the beginning, but they will fill in. I'd really like to torch this afterwards too. I think torching would be really cool. to get maybe one of my other combs and get this moving a little faster. Which one? Hmm. Which other one do I have? I don't know if I dare with this one. Do I wreck it? Do I try? No, I'm just going to try my, my three prong again in between the lines I've already done, hopefully. Yes, that worked. I think it'll help fill in the lines faster for me. It's warm in here. I might have to turn my AC on. That one was a good one. Let's do one more like that. Okay, so now I'm going to start moving down this way some. we doing? Is it looking cool? I think it looks really cool. Yeah, 
Wow, that's a lot of color. Again, doing it with my left hand. This painting might be a little bit of a longer video, but that's okay. It's an 18 by 24 canvas. There's a lot to work with here. Almost done the out part. And I'll have to stop and check out my That looks really neat. Oops, just put my napkin in my painting, seriously. <laughs> okay, let's fix that by pulling a color through. That was silly of me. But that's okay. Just adds a little character to the painting, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Okay, and up here there's a little more flow. A little bit of play. There we go. Right here needs some. Who else needs some right here? Okay. I see a bubble. I'm gonna go right through it here. There we go. Break up those bubbles while I can. Okay. Thankfully, art is never perfect. Because if it had to be perfect, I'd probably not be doing this. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit more color in that line. There we go. How else are we doing over here? I always seem to spend more time on my right than I do on my left. Okay, so now in the center, looks really cool and I think all I want to do is drag some of these colors out so it should probably just be like that try and find one of these lines to drag in Looks pretty awesome. Okay. Mm. 
Now everybody might be saying, oh no, she's wrecking it. But I'm not. I don't think I am. Okay. Now what? What do I want to do in that center? Definitely want to pull more of this color out. So now what? Let's see. What can I do? Color in the center. I think I'm going to take my star shaped. I think it's a potato masher, but I'm not really sure. Bought it at the dollar store. And I thought that'd be cool to make a design. What color do we want in the center here? Let's just do a puddle of red and pink, maybe. I'm going to do it. Red. Pink. Okay. <coughs> Let's just mash this down and see if it works. In a couple different directions. blow that with my straw. Let's see what see what I get. That's kind of look like a flower bloom, doesn't it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Can we get some more of a petal look to it? Just pulling some of the white in to make it look more like a petal. Looks pretty darn cool. I think we're going to need a couple more of those, though, I think. Let's see what the blue does. I think it's definitely giving it an interesting finish. I have to turn it though to get to the other side. There we go. Thank goodness art is art. Somebody's going to love this, somebody isn't. Who knows? I sold on it is the question. I'm not sure. Turn it back around. I do like the blue blown out like that. I think I'm gonna need some evergreen to go 
it down like this. couple of dots here. And a little bit of the chartreuse vein. Green going this way. There we go. I think that is beautiful. Definitely tells a story. I don't know. It tells the story of a flower in a time warp. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But it is my art. And I'm loving it. And there we go. Thanks very much everybody for joining me.